Gunfire and smoke from the bursts erupt from high windows at the parliament building in Tehran. Security forces rush to the scene. As they position themselves with guns pointed upward, terrorists have stormed the building. A battle is underway inside. At the same time, 15 miles away, more carnage. A suicide bomber detonates a vest at the Ayatollah Khomeini mausoleum. Iranian intelligence says it thwarted a third possible assault. But this was still one of the worst terror attacks in Iran since the 1979 revolution. At least a dozen people killed in both locations. Iranian officials say their security forces killed four attackers who may have been dressed as women. ISIS is claiming responsibility and has released video, which we're not showing, from inside the parliament building. This frame grab appears to show one of the victims. CNN cannot independently verify ISIS's claim. But the ISIS MO has increasingly been coordinated urban attacks with small arms and suicide bombs. And a U.S. intelligence official tells CNN Iran has been at the top of ISIS's enemy list. Iran and ISIS are on opposite sides in the Syrian war. Iran is Shia, while ISIS is Sunni. In a way, it's, it's sort of a miracle that Iran hasn't been attacked by them uh, until now. Make no mistake, ISIS has always been committed to a genocidal project against all Shia Muslims. Iran's Revolutionary Guard issued a statement implying its rival, Saudi Arabia, is linked to the attacks. They have no evidence, and you know, they always blame the Saudis or the Americans. So far, no reply from the Saudis. A key question tonight, how will Iran respond to this carnage in the heart of its capital? It's likely that Iran will use this as attack as a pretext to continue its support for the Assad regime in Syria, for Shia militias in Iraq and Houthis in Yemen. Uh, but the reality is enlisting the support of Shiite radicals like Hezbollah to kill Sunni radicals like ISIS tends to exacerbate the problem of extremism. It doesn't decrease it. Iran is, of course, the victim of today's attacks, but is considered itself to be one of the worst state sponsors of terrorism by the United States. In fact, the worst still. Nevertheless, the State Department today expressed condolences to the victims in Iran and condemned the attack. Still, analysts say if you're looking for Iran and the U.S. to unite against ISIS, don't hold your breath. President Trump, just a short time ago, issued a statement sympathizing with the victims, but also saying, quote, states that sponsor terrorism risk falling victim to the evil they promote.